Breaking news. U.S. ready to help Nigeria identify Boko Haram sponsors. Hello, my wonderful people. The United States of America has sent a strong message to Nigeria. But again, nobody will force it on you. You'll be asked if you want the help. And if you say yes, well, then the help will come. If you say no, they will keep it to themselves. Mm -hmm. Well, U.S. have, you know, they've taken Nigeria. They are taking Nigeria matter really seriously. And they are saying we, are, we know the sponsors. You know, but let me tell you something. There are people who, you know, with, with the technology they have, you know, they don't, they, they will not infringe beyond, you know, their, 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 they will not take beyond their jurisdiction and go into start, uh, you know, taking money for people's accounts. But they see the transactions and uh, they can see all those things and everything that is happening. And they are saying to Nigerians, listen, we are ready. We want to expose to you those of your people who are carrying out these atrocities and are sponsoring them. You know, Nigerians keep saying it again and again and again and again, that there are people in this government who are sponsoring this evil going on. They keep saying it. There are people in this government who are sponsoring all the evil activity occurring and going on. You'll be shocked. You'll be very surprised. And the U.S. have told Nigerian government, do you want us to expose them? Do you, you'll be surprised to know what Nigerian government response are. Because when the breeze blow, the things that will unfold will even shock you. Honestly speaking, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Who are these people sponsoring and ensuring that Nigeria is living in this very difficult moment? U.S. ready to help Nigeria identify Boko Haram sponsors in Nigeria. The United States has expressed its readiness to help Nigeria identify sponsors of terrorism in the country. The U.S. ambassador to Nigeria, Mary Lonard, disclosed this on Monday during a meeting with journalists in Abuja. The involved was asked if the U.S. was ready to help Nigeria identify sponsors of terrorism in Nigeria. She however, said, talks were ongoing on the matter. Lonard said that that is something we are very eager to partner with Nigeria on. I had at least three conversations in the last two months on this subject. I won't like to go into details for now. She also alleged the fear that the U.S. partnership with Nigeria might end up like Afghanistan, if something is not done immediately to solve the situation. According to her, Nigeria has a strong bilateral relationship with the U.S., saying that the situation are not the same. She added, I heard people making analogies and comparison with Afghanistan. A lot, it does not match up. When you listen to what President Biden said on how troops went to Afghanistan in the first place, it was because they were in a horrible tragedy. Over 3,000 Americans have been killed and were killed during the Afghanistan issue. That is a difficult scenario. The sovereign nation who has had strong bilateral relationship with our country will always get the best. I don't actually think the two matches up. The commander, U.S. Air Force, in Europe, General Jeffrey said the purchase of Tunica fighter jet was an opportunity to commence and to assure Nigerians of the U.S. relationship with Nigeria, as well as curbing the insecurity if Nigeria make proper use of that equipment of the helicopter. He said the A-29 Super Telecom give us an opportunity to reconnect our relationship with Nigeria, which will help them sort out this issue as soon as possible. It is also an opportunity to bring together the capacity on the human side and what the A-23 brings to the nation, particularly as it will contribute to bring stability not only to Nigeria but to the region. So the U.S. says they are ready to work with Nigerian government to ensure that this issue and this problem come to an end. But is Nigerian government ready to work with the U.S.? Because I might be ready to work with you. I might be ready to partner with you. I'm ready to give my 100%. Are you ready to do the same? You know, in the traffic, it's called a two-way flow. It's not just one way. It's not just from one person. When it's only one way flowing, that's when you have traffic jam. Yes, but when the two sides are flowing and things are going well, you will discover that after a while, the road will become clear and things will be better.
The truth of the matter is, help can come. But will this parents' administration accept the help? Will they? Are they bold enough to take the help? Because when this help come, a lot will be exposed. Are they ready for what will be unveiled, will be unraveled? When the help truly shows up, the U.S. have said they have the list of those sponsoring because whether Nigeria CBN refused to do what we call um, what we call, you know, through the CBN, we can know those that are, you know, transporting money here and there, paying to, for instance, let's say they are paying to a Turkish account. The U.S. have most of those things. You see, they are previewed to some of these uh, evidences and they are saying to Nigerian governments, we are ready to help you. Are you ready to hear the verdict? Are you ready to know those that are involved? Guess what? I guess the answer is no. Because if uh, when things unravel, you'll be surprised those that are involved and how far, you know, these things can go on. You see, so I guess they are not ready. You know, when you are not ready for something, what you, the food you don't want to eat, there's no need to taste it. There's no need. You say you don't want to eat it, but you are putting it in your mouth, you are tasting, there's no need. There's no need. Uh -huh. So it's a matter of choice here, you see. You have to decisively make the choice and say, okay, do I want to do this? Is this what I want to do? You see, you don't go and you don't want to eat the food, but you are testing it. What's the point? What's the point? So the U.S. is saying to Nigeria, we have the list. We want to assist you. Why are you ready for the assistance? Because more and more things will be revealed. Are you ready for what will follow? Is a question Nigerian government have to ask, uh, answer. Sadly, the masses do not really hold a, a lot, you know, I mean, speaking in that light as to, you know, uh, if the, even if the masses wants it, to a large extent, the thing with democracy is that they will tell you, you voted this person, this is your representative, and you just, I mean, nobody comes to you directly. They expect your representative to stand up and to speak for the people. So, I mean, that's the dilemma that we are in. I know, generally speaking, Nigerians be able to say, no, 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 we want it. We want to know those that have been causing this death and suffering in the land. But how are we going to have it? Leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. God bless you. Bye for now.